So I've been interested for some time trying to understand why stress impacts immune function in virtually all animals, but particularly, of course, I'm interested in insects. And what puzzled, what started to puzzle me was some recent work that showed that when animals were food deprived, insects were food deprived, this is work that was done in Drosophila, that there seemed to be an increase in antimicrobial peptide production. So you had these starving animals, but they looked like they were putting more resources into immune defense, even though there was no pathogen challenge. So that seemed like a really odd thing to do. So I decided to explore that with my model system, which is the caterpillar Manduca sexta. And I really was trying to understand why a starving animal would want to change the way it does its immune defense. What I did find was that the immune system in animals that are food limited, it's not that it's suppressed, which is what people had previously thought, but I think what's happening is it's a reconfiguration. The immune system is putting itself together in a different way that gives it different strengths and weaknesses. So the importance here is not thinking of the immune system as some monolithic structure, but it's actually composed of multiple components that can rebuild themselves, like taking Lego apart, Lego bricks, and putting them together in a different way to give you an immune system that maximizes its functionality for a given condition. So with the starving animals, their resources are dwindling. They can't support the same kind of immune system they had before, so they rebuild it. They don't just depress it, because that, of course, would not actually optimize their abilities given, or their ability to def defeat disease given their, their situation. So what we didn't expect was we didn't expect an upregulation of many immune functions. And so people had seen this. This was the interesting result I had alluded to earlier that Becker in 2010 found and colleagues found in Drosophila that starved Drosophila seemed to be upregulating some immune functions. So we found it as well as in, in, in Manduka. But when we looked harder, what we saw was not so much that they were putting more resources into immune function. What they were really doing was rebuilding their immune system. And they were putting more of their resources into an immediate immune response. So when a pathogen gets into the body, they've upregulated the defenses that attack it immediately. But they've compromised those longer uh, duration responses, the ones that come into play later, that, that you have to build new proteins to be able to get into, into the act. So those were no longer really functional so much, particularly in the really starved animals, but those immediate responses were, were augmented. And so they had shifted their strategy. Instead of, of sort of having this immediate response followed by a, a second response, like a one-two punch, they put everything into that first punch. But pathogens that can get through that, they have very little defense, which is why to most pathogens, these animals are actually very susceptible to disease. But there's a few pathogens they actually become more resistant to, the ones that are the most susceptible to that first punch. So the take home message I'd like people to have is even though we often think of stress effects on immune function in a negative way, we think of them as a pathology or we think of them as, as something to be avoided, I think we should not look at it that way. We should think of it more in an adaptive context that these are evolved responses and they are there to help the animal to have the best possible disease resistance given its present condition. And I think if we have that perspective, a lot of these strange paradoxical effects we see will just melt away because it really is a question of an animal struggling to maintain its disease resistance when the predator is after it and it's on, under fight or flight stress or the food is limited or all of these different stressors. And the immune system has to deal with the changes, the physiological changes that impact it while the animal is trying to survive as it, the best it can in its environment.